The research title. So the research title. This is the very exciting part in making a research. So before we go on, let's tackle what is the meaning of the research title. The research title. It summarizes the main idea of your study, or your research, or your investigation. So to that, research title. To make it a good title, it needs to have a adequately fewer words to describe your content or your purpose of your study. So when we are going to see that certain title, we will know that you are talking about this problem, this study. In just taking a look at the research title. Okay, number one, the title of the research is the research problem. It must clearly reflect the topic of investigation and it must be original, clear, concise, or specific okay in writing the research title number one it must be original it must not be copied by any other research titles next it must be clear next it must be concise concise means you need to have a brief research title and the last one it needs to be specific number two you must not allow personal views ideas, opinions, and prejudices cloud your thinking, meaning we will be gathering data or information from different resources. Three, research projects must be as objective as possible, that is freed from your personal biases or preferences as a researcher. Number four, two broad topics will lead you nowhere. Select a topic that interests and motivates you. Broad topics should always be narrowed broad down. broad topics will lead you nowhere. So in order to narrow down broad topics to specific ones, the purpose or intent of the study must be clear. First, we have the broad topics. Social networking, vegetarianism, and tea. Let's observe the transformation of the broad topics to specific ones. Okay, observe this one. Specific topics. From social networking, the specific topic would be the cause, effect, relationships of social networking and online selling. Next, vegetarianism. Two, effects of vegetarianism and physical health. Three, we have from broad topic, we have teenage pregnancy and the factors of teenage pregnancy in Lapu Lapu City. And now, we will discuss about the statement of the problem. What is the role of the statement of the problem to your research? As you can see in the picture, this is a compass. So, the statement of the problem serves as a compass of the research. It means that it sets the specific direction of the investigation or the research. It serves as a right path, meaning it states what you want to accomplish in that certain study or a research. of the statement of the problem before we thoroughly discuss the whole matter. Okay, 
The research question or the statement of a problem, it is the problem statement or research question regular statement of the central problem of a study. Means this is a general statement of a problem. So the statement of a problem, it shows the purpose, the aim, or the objectives of your whole study or your research. This is an example format of the statement of the problem. The research title is Common Types of Bullying and Its Effects of Grade 7 Students in Cordova National High School. 
The parts of a statement of the problem are first, the introductory statement, and the research questions. Let's understand the introductory statement of this research. The study identified if the effects of the common forms of bullying. So in this first sentence, it identifies what they will do in the research. Next sentence, this study is for the grade 7 students in Cordova National High School. So the second sentence interprets or says who are the respondents for the research, the grade 7 students. Third sentence, this study aimed the freedom expression of the students by answering real life question, real life situational statements. So in the last, in the third sentence of the introductory statement, it states of what would be their purpose for certain study. In questions number one and two, it sought to find out the background of the respondents and in number two, the types of forms of bullying. And in number three and four, which is the third and last question, in the research questions, it must be the effect or the result or the recommendation for your certain study or the study that you're going to conduct. So if the third and fourth question is the result of your study. Research topic and the research question.